Hi everybody, Eric Hendrickson giving you the Mortgage Minute for the week of May 10th, 2021. So recap of last week, Friday was, was a big day. The uh, national uh, jobs report came out, so the payroll numbers for the entire nation. And there was a lot of anticipation thinking that there might be upwards of a million new jobs created last month. Unfortunately, it was a big swing and a miss, uh, closer to a quarter million versus a million. So, um, again, the, the economic recovery and those new jobs um, looks like it maybe hit a little bit of a, a plateau. Um, how that impacts mortgage rates, again, as there's more jobs created, there's more inflationary pressure. That just puts upward pressure on interest rates as a whole. So, what happened to mortgage rates? Well, really, you know, some would argue that these should have gone down a little bit, but they really just kind of flatlined. And I think what that was is everybody was expecting a big jobs number and they were ready to push rates higher. And when it missed, they just were content to kind of basically leave rates where they were at. So uh, the bad news is they didn't go really down much. The good news is they didn't go up. And I think that, um, again, having uh, a miss with uh, the new jobs gives ammunition to the Federal Reserve to continue buying mortgage-backed securities and treasury bonds, kind of subsidizing those interest rates for a little bit longer time into the future. So that's the good news out there if you're looking to refinance or buy a house. I think that um, that, that jobs miss, at least for in the next 30 days until we get the next jobs report, helps give us some cover. Um, as far as what's coming out this week that might impact interest rates, we have the consumer price index, retail sales, and the producer price index. And basically those are inflationary uh, gauges. If, if the consumer price index, if those numbers are up higher, that's gonna put a little bit of pressure on rates if retail sales continue to scream. Um, again, that, that could be some inflationary elements that'll push rates up. Producer price index, same thing goes. So we'll continue to watch those. If you're looking to refinance, time to get it done. If you're out there looking for a house, rates are great. So steady as she goes. Uh, thanks again, and we'll keep you posted.